I really love the fact that we are going deep into what we journalists do. Uh, we are we are bringing the verdict on ourselves. It is us who do the news, who write the news. We are the ones who collect, write, edit and publish the news. But now we are coming again to ask ourselves, are the, are the news, is the information that we are putting out correct? Is it factual? So we are coming back to the roots and say, let us do a fact checking and give out news that is correct. Because it may be accurately presented, but when it is wrong information. But now we are coming to say true information and given out accurately. So the thing is this, just send your actual first step, please, so it's accurate. The image is out of context. That image was from Nigeria, I was from Nigeria. <laughs> These things you learn them tomorrow, how you can get to know that this was in Nigeria. Where was it first published? Who published it? And things like that. The training has tickled our minds to say, okay, if this happens, you need to go an extra mile and put your efforts towards fact-checking it. Then another issue is the online content and how we shared, for example, when you're searching for things, especially people have tried to use the internet, but the challenge has been that most of us don't know how to use the internet to search for right information. And when you look around currently, most of the reporters seem to rely on AI information. And sometimes, for instance, me who is in Chigezi, when I write a script, the AI may not bring in that actual feeling of my story. Uh, so when, when they were taking me through the AI concept, at least now I understand when and how AI is applied in my day-to-day -day work. Most of the journalists in, uh, in the up country they rely much on social media and some other unverified information than the verified. So when they undergo these trainings, they can easily know how to verify information and whenever they are spreading, they can be confident of what they are feeding their public.